Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about the molecular genetics of eye color where we will see the genes responsible for eye color. So let's get started. First of all we see the eye color is polygenic phenotypic trait. That means where multiple genes control single phenotype of an organism. That's why we call it polygenic. Many genes control eye color here. Like we have a gene 1, gene 2, gene 3. All the genes will contribute for the eye color. And it's not important that all the genes will be expressed at the same time. There can only be gene 1 contributing to eye color or gene 2 contributing to eye color or both the genes will contribute to the eye color. Second thing we see here is the pigmentation of iris that contributes to eye color. So simply we can say iris color is the eye color. And not only pigmentation alone is responsible for eye color but scattering of light in stroma of iris also contributes to eye color. And it has been observed it's tendal scattering and sometimes mescattering that's responsible for eye color too. And finally we see the genes that control eye color are OCA2 gene present on chromosome number 15, HERC2 gene that's also present on chromosome number 15 adjacent to OCA2 gene and third gene which is responsible for eye color is ECYL1 gene that's present on chromosome number 19 and there are many other genes that contribute eye color but these three genes are one of the major genes that contribute to the eye color. Now let's see how the pigmentation of iris occurs. We know we have a MSH hormone that's called a melanocyte stimulating hormone that's released by pituitary gland and when this is released by pituitary gland it is received by MC1 or receptor that's receptor present on melanocyte cell and when it's received it creates a signal cascade thereby activating a gene called OCA2 gene. When this OCA2 gene gets activated, it goes through a transcription process and finally we get a P protein. And this P protein is a membrane bound transporter protein that's able to transport a tyrosine inside the melanocyte like this. From outside of the cell, it transports it to the inside of the cell. And from this tyrosine, there's a precursor for melanin. It creates a U melanin. And we see here the MC1 or receptor that's present on melanocyte can be antagonized by ASIP that's agouti signaling peptide. Instead of MSH, there is now ASIP that's agouti signaling peptide. When this agouti signaling peptide creates a signaling cascade, it does not create U melanin, rather, it creates a melanin that's called phaeomelanin. In this way, the ASIP gene is also responsible for eye color formation. Then we have another gene for eye color, which is HERC2 gene. This gene doesn't contribute to eye color directly, but the interaction with OCA2 gene can create various shades for iris. The mutation in HERC2 gene can suppress or deactivate the OCA2 gene that's present on chromosome number 15, as both genes are adjacent to each other and have interaction with each other also. And when OCA2 gene is shut down, there is no formation of P protein. That means no U or phaeomelanin is made and in that case the eye color is wholly dependent upon light scattering in stroma and to some extent the kind of stroma present in iris and epithelium of iris. And this HERC2 gene is profound in European countries. That's why there are abundant people with blue eyes. And then we have another gene that contributes for eye color is ECYL1 gene that's present on chromosome number. 19 and this gene creates a pigment called lipochrome so finally we have three pigments present in iris now which are eumelanin phaeomelanin and lipochrome this eumelanin can give brown or black iris and the phaeomelanin it gives a range between yellow and red and lipochrome it gives a green tint to the iris and when there is not any pigment being made in iris the color of eyes wholly depend upon scattering of light in stroma. Most of the time the person has blue eyes due to tendal scattering. But if there are large deposits of collagen in stroma, the light is reflected from the epithelium and undergoes me scattering and give gray color to iris. So this is how the light also affects the color of eyes. This is all about the eye color and the molecular mechanism behind it. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.